<laughs> oh, are we doing this? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Combat Cocktails. Dan and I are going to taste a mezcal against a sotol. And, and what's a sotol? That. A, so, a sotol <laughs> is it's it also a, known it's, as it's a not desert so tall? Sm No. Oh. What do you mean? Well, that's tall. So tall? That's no. not so tall. No, that's so short. <laughs> You get that? He asks. He, he asked me for that's some a, that's education. A great, he 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 like hits that's a great at joke. Tips of education, <laughs> and then he goes and like ruins it all. I do. It's so awesome. there's a a plant like I'm gonna drink tequila. Some. Yeah yeah. You want to pour that? I'll tell a story. Okay. So at one Keep point, talking. the this this cactus like thing was called mezcal or was called agave. So by definition, it was then distilled into a mezcal. They recategorized this plant. To be like a cousin to agave, because I'm guessing it has something to do with science happening, which we didn't have a long time ago. Yeah. Right? So we can categorize stuff like that now. I'll put this over here so we know which one's which. Uh, so, so toll is basically a, produced and done everything like a mezcal, except for it's so toll, because it's a different variety, a different species or cousin to mezcal. So you're going to get a lot of, I mean, the process is pretty much the same. Which means you're going to get smoke. Yeah. Probably. Uh, and you've got something that tastes pretty much like agave. But, we like our last video we did, even the varieties of agave were different. Like yes. They taste different. So this should taste different as well. And this has its own domain too. Yes. Uh, so has, boy, I think it's got a... Le le yeah, it's so tall. So yeah, it's got a... It's, it's like three different regions. Yeah. So they have their region. They have their name. So it's not mezcal. Even if it was agave, it would probably still be called whatever, like from their own region. Yeah. Sotol. And sotol is the plant. Uh, there's some scientific names for it that are probably in Latin. It's like with a D. I don't even know how to say it. I think it's, it's on, probably there. on there. No. Yeah, that's yeah, that. Dazilarian? No, you did. Yeah. Dazilarian. Dazilarian. And it's from Chihuahua. Yeah, Ch Almada and Chihuahua. So Toll Spears. Um, yeah, see? And that's I La Higuera, I'm going to guess is what that says, is the brand. So... This, if you were to find a Sotol, and it's probably harder than finding Mezcal, which is harder than finding tequila, um, that product is going to be about 40 bucks when I Googled it. This, this one, this is Espadine, so that's the standard variety, the one you see the most. Oh, shit. So the other Tobashi one, that was $129. That's what I thought. Okay. This one's what, like 40, 40 something dollars? That's the same price as these two. I told you. Yeah, you didn't listen. Why? Because you got donated. Oh! oh look at that. <laughs> I thought it had something to do with me not knowing which price. That's why he's smiling over there in the corner. He's just waiting for it now. It's cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. There you go. See that? You guys are hurt. It's not as powerful. Yeah, it's not the same. Uh, <laughs> 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 you didn't have to do it right now. So, oh, okay. let's characterize. This is the Espadine and you have Sotol. Sotol. The, this is not that bad, actually. Ooh, it's burning. Um, it's burning. Burning my face off. 47.2, weird number. <laughs> uh, 50.1, so yours is going to be more burning, but you're not giving me the burning face. I was waiting for the burning face. No burning face? Uh, I mean, it's burning. You're not like it's, uh, it's really smoky, it's tobacco-y, but it has... So it's like the last one we had, which was... Mm -mm. I don't remember no, it has. It's a good tobacco, but with uh, like some citrus on the back end. Don't put your nose too far, because mm. then it's just like vodka. Yeah. Doesn't really have a lot of aroma, actually. It really does smell like ethanol. Mm. It is fifty percent. Ah. Uh, this one's not so burning. Oh, it's a little black burning. Yeah, but you just had the 50, and then you went down. Hmm. Oh, that's kind of burning, actually. Like, it's tongue numbing. It's got, like, that's eucalyptus, yeah. like, flavor to it. Smoky tobacco, eucalyptus. Yeah. Um, it's better than Patron. Hmm. I just want to throw that in there. I don't like Patron. Hmm. Um, this is good. Smooth. It's a little smoky. Yeah. That's... I thought this was smokier. We've been we've made drinks with this, right? The Soto? No. This is definitely we made that, way? No. that is more like tobacco. No, like it's smoked in tobacco right? though. Mm -hmm. First time we did open them. I don't get as much tobacco as that last time you said we, one of those other ones had tobacco. I just went all of it. No, the one we did in the last show? Yeah. Was that Fidencio? Yeah, Fidencio was 
a, more tobacco. More tobacco. It was almost like cigarish. Yeah, that has like a menthol uh, tobacco. It definitely doesn't smell like a taste. It doesn't smell like anything. It smells, it smells like it's going to be really burning. Yeah, <laughs> it smells like it's 50% yeah, alcohol. It smells, smells like really, a 100 yeah. proof type burn. There's no fruity off. notes coming off that no, nose. No, there's no fruity notes. And those glasses, those, uh, oh, shit. The Norlin glasses, link below to my Amazon affiliate link so you can buy some of these badass tasting glasses. They remove so much of the alcohol that yeah. that would probably hurt your inner child. If you were to drink that out of like even a Glencairn or a, a shot glass. That's true. A shot glass probably you don't get anything out of. But that's got some it's got some meat. That's like it's, gonna it's good you. though. Yeah, I like both of them. It's actually um, really good. I I was kinda hoping for a little bit more smoke out of the Sotol, but Do you think you want more smoke out of that? Yeah. Why? You're crazy. <laughs> that's a good amount of smoke it's, in there. This doesn't happen yeah. I feel like I smoked a cigar drinking all of it. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? I gotta stop doing that because we have a lot of show. Uh, I do still kind of like this. I think this is gonna be good in cocktail. But at forty dollars, both of those are bargain pricing. Like Wait a forty dollars. If you can't tell, then you don't know what smoke is. At forty dollars, this is the. I don't know what you did. Uh, both of these work for that's for this. your mezcal. Like. If you wanted to make mezcal no, cocktails this. and you saw either of these in the store, you're good to go. Like at that price, they're cocktail worthy because of the price point. I mean, it's sixty dollars. This even has a little you're... pepper in the back, like green pepper, pepper. Yeah, but not as much as uh, drum. No, not as much this as that. Uh, this is green. Yeah. Uh, but like, if if you said, okay, here's five mezcals and that was included in it, I would not be able to tell you. Oh no, this doesn't taste like a mezcal. This tastes like a sotol. Like that I, tastes exactly like a mezcal. Yeah, it, it, that's that's the that's the lesson here is if you're making a mezcal cocktail, whether you're doing it with uh, a sotol or with a espadine or that's espadine or whatever, I don't think you're gonna be going wrong. The only time you would be going wrong, I think, and this is just because of semantics, is if you use tequila. Even though tequila is a mezcal, the minute you put tequila in a drink and you say, "Here's a mezcal cocktail," I'd be like, "Dude." Don't lie to me. It's a tequila cocktail. Yeah, I mean, people are definitely expecting it a little bit right. smokier of a taste. Yeah, so you that's that's the thing. Is you're yeah. expecting the smoke, but you don't always get it. You get what you get. What are they doing up there? I don't know. Oh. Well, your kids are, hopefully will be alive when they leave. Uh, there you go. A little bit on Sotol. Now we can start getting into mi and taking a lot. I've got like 12 bottles of Mezcal at this point and start building some cocktails with it. Before we get too that destroyed. That one's really good. Yeah. Oh. See? Now we're going to be drinking. And we've got more to work with. We do. All right. So now there's a sidebar. It's going to have two different... Oh, you can subscribe to the show, by the way. Uh, this is... <laughs> I haven't Always. done any of my shit because it's tastings and I just yeah. get into it. Um, sidebar, I'm going to have the whole month of Mezcal is going to be a Mezcal on the top and tequila on the bottom. It's like do you have a coupon code for this month or what? Yeah, I do. It's called Mezcal. All right. Uh -huh. At AwesomeDrinks.com. It's easy. Easy for you to remember. You should be able to remember it. I do. Yeah. That's it. We're teaching you how to drink. Mezcal. <laughs>